What's going on everybody? My name is Gene, bringing guys part 17 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also guys, check me out on Twitch at Gene25 as I stream 4 plus days every single week. Link will be in the description below. So guys, in the last episode, we actually made our way up to Tao Tao Mountain Rage, got the bird key with the help from this little rooster, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on our next dungeon, which is the Eagle Tower. So let's hop right into this and get going. Guys, this dungeon is actually, this one's so cool, because it's like, it's different from everything. It's like a tower. It is built in levels and all that, so it's cool. So we're going to actually want to have Rock's Feather, Rock's Feathers out, and the Boomerang, because the Boomerang will come in handy a lot here. So what we're going to start off doing is actually, no, not this way. We want to come straight across here. Hop over that fool, but we'll still take a hit from him. It's fine. And make our way over here and whoop on all these fools. But you guys remember me saying that you guys, we cannot defeat these fire things anymore. With the boomerang, we actually can. We just hit them with it and then they're done. And they drop fairies a lot, so which is nice. Which is awesome. But we're going to grab ourselves this small key right here and keep moving along with this dungeon. Opening up this door. But I love how we got the Kaholin sword in the last episode, which is the powered up sword. So now if we have full health, it acts as a master sword and we can actually start swinging it and all that, which is just awesome. But we're going to make our way up this way. We're actually going to grab this little metallic ball. If you guys remember that one boss had it before, it was like a little fish or something. But we're going to put it down here because we are actually going to need it throughout most of this dungeon. We're going to actually grab this little thing, pull this back to open up that path. Yeah, get a link. Look at him. He's working up a sweat over there. And then we're going to make our way over here. Grab this ball real quick, and can we squeeze through? Yes, we can. We can squeeze through here. Actually, come over here and throw this ball at this pillar, which will destroy it. So there are four different pillars within this tower, and once you knock them all down, it'll actually open up a different area for us. So what we now want to do is actually take this ball this way, make our way over here. here. Actually, do we want it right here for right now? And then we just want to actually like come over here, do this puzzle and all that. We're gonna throw that there. No, give me that. We got all these chest pieces. Hey, leave me alone, punk. I'll, I'll fool, you know what, get out of here <laughs> Now that we have this boomerang, we just whoop on everybody Hey, stupid horse Which way are you going, buddy? You're going downwards? Okay So, actually, let's come up here, see which way it goes this way Okay, so for, I'm gonna throw it there There we go, he's in his slot What you want, fool? You're going over here So, hmm Let's figure out his bouncing stuff Right here would be good, it looks like There we go, swish rooney Open up this path for us. Well, not the path. It's actually going to give us this chest right here. And what's inside of it? You guys guessed it. You guys got to guess it. You know what it is. It's the dungeon map. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. But I will show you guys the map real quick. Just show you how it looks like. But there's different floors here, which is awesome. I don't know why I like it so much. But it's just different from every other thing. Which makes it unique. But now what we actually want to do is actually make our way back towards this way. Because it's the only way we can go as of right now. Actually, do we want to go back this way? Was there another way we can go? I think there's a switch somewhere that we can hit. Where's the switch that we can hit? I don't see a switch in here, so we're just gonna head back. Yeah, for right now, we're gonna head back here and try to find this switch. Can we actually rock feather hop over here? <gasps> yeah. I thought we could. No, we fall down a layer. No! What are we doing? We fall down a whole nother layer. Let me look at the map and see where we are at. We're actually at the first floor. So I would rather make our way back to the entrance area. So back entrance area would be this way. Making our way around here and back down here. We can actually make our way back up those steps to the right. Get out of here. What you want, fools? What you want? Get out of my face. Destroy on these fools again. That's what stinks. When you fall down little holes this time, you go down a whole floor, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. But here we go. We're going to make our way back here. And What did I want? Oh, we can actually push this. This is what we can do. No, we cannot push it. What is going on here? Which way we got to go? I know there's a, there should be a switch just chilling around here somewhere. Where's it at? Where's it at, fools? Oh, actually, do we want to throw this ball over this hole? Yeah, we do. And we're going to actually do like a Pegasus boot. Long jump over here. <laughs> make our way over into this little area here. And can we make our way down here? There should be a switch somewhere. Here's the switch. This is what I was looking for. We can actually hit this switch, grab these little hearts. And luckily, I threw that ball over here because now we can grab it this way, lift it up, and huck it at this pillar right here. <laughs> Get out of my face. Knocking out that one. So now we have two more pillars left to do. So... Which way? What's down here? Actually, yeah, I want to throw this ball over this wall. We're going to use it in a little bit. Hey, that rhyme. Little ball over the wall. <laughs> but look at these little beams we can throw now that we have full health. Let's push this out. Actually, we got to come around this way because we can't push on the blue thing. We're going to go around here, push that, start making our way over here. And there's that next pillar right there. What you want? We're going to change all these to hearts. You guys know this little puzzle right here. What you want, fool? Get out of here. But if you change them all the hearts, they will actually, or not all the hearts, all in the same suit. It's gonna drop you a little chest with a nice little small key in, I believe. Nope, it's a compass, which is even better. Now we can see all the chests in this whole dungeon. Now we got the map and the compass. 
We can see every last thing in this dungeon. Let me see this. Let me see this. Let's see this map. Look at this. Look at all this. We got every single chest, every single floor. But we're going to head down here real quick. Can we push anything out the way here? No, we cannot. We can't really do much right there. So what we want to do is actually make our way down this little pathway. And continuing on. What you fools want? What you fools want? Get out of here. We can't even whoop on him right now. But the funny thing is, if you make our way over here, look at this enemy. It is Kirby. It is Kirby. Look at this. And he even sucks in stuff. Get out of here. We'll just whoop him with... The, the boomerang, but as you can tell the seashell sensor did go off. There is a secret seashell in here, which is awesome But what we are gonna do is actually make our way through here. Actually, where should we go down here? Let's see. Let's see. What's down here? It's over here. Oh, no, we got that's the beginning of the place We're actually gonna head up these stairs real quick in order to make our way to this back to the other pillars But what you want fools? Ah, get out my face. Leave me alone. Yeah, this dungeon is so cool But look at this guy. We got this mini boss real quick and guys just watch this real quick Look at this guy. It's just Look how quick we defeated him. Like, this is what I want to show you guys. This is we have the Kaholin sword now, which is a better sword. Makes us hit harder. And this red tunic. We can just whip on mini bosses and bosses now, which is awesome. But that is something I want to do in a little bit. Is actually go back to the color dungeon and change our tunic to the defense one. Considering we have the sword now. So there's really no need for that double damage when we already kind of have it with the sword. So we might as well go get the blue one. So we can get that defense buff. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Do the same thing here, get all their suits, and a chest will actually drop over there, which we can actually make our way around there and start to get. So let's go. Yeah, but that's definitely something I want to do. I, I want to get the... Hey, yo, what you fools want? Get out of my face. But what I want to do is actually get that blue tunic. But the cool thing about this is, and we get a piece of power, we can destroy anything right now. But like I was saying, we can actually throw our boomerang over that wall right there, which is just awesome. Actually unlock different things right here. We're going to use our small key to open up this little thing. And see what's up here. There's really nothing too much up here. It's kind of just like a short little pathway. So guys, now what we want to do is actually grab this little metal ball once again. Put it back over that wall because I didn't actually want to throw it back over here. And start making our way all the way back here because if, as you guys remember, the secret seashell sensor did go off. So if we come down all the way over to this little hole over here, we're going to drop down here and land on the outside of this right here. We're going to make our way all the way down here on the left side all the way up until the sensor goes off. And there's Kirby again. But inside this chest will be the secret seashell that you will need to collect. We are at, what are we, 44 secret seashells? Out of 50, like, come on. We are crushing this right now. Just absolutely crush this. But now we're going to make our way back down here since we switch the switch open. This little chest actually opens up. And we can collect it, getting ourselves the beak, the stone beak. Now we can use the, the bird statues in order to get hints and all that. I think it's funny how it's like bird statues and this is the eagle tower. But we're going to make our way this way now across all this little platforms and all that. And get whooping on you fools. What you want? What you want, fools? Get out of my face. You want some of this? What's over here? What we got over here? We got this switch. We're gonna throw a boomerang. Smack that up. And I'll make our way this way. Yo, get out of here, boy. Now that we make our way this way, we can just keep going right here. Oh, what? Get out of here. Oh, we got this little new mummy enemy. But I think it's so funny how we got Kirby enemies. <laughs> like, everything Nintendo. Like, Nintendo's just going off with all their enemies. It's just pretty funny. Now we're gonna make our way all the way back up here once again. Because we got to collect another chest. So if we come up here, we can actually grab this chest, which has the item on the dungeon in it, which is the mirror shield. We got ourselves a brand new shield. Now that we got a brand new sword, we definitely needed a shield to go with it. But we're actually going to fall down here now. But what this shield actually does is it's so shiny, it can reflect like beams of light and everything, which is just awesome. But we can make our way all the way down to this right side, just like on the left side. There's a chest over here. And what's inside of it? Ba -ba -ba -ba! Nice little small key that we could take and use later in this dungeon. But look at this shield. We are all decked out now. Ooh, Link's looking good. Link's looking good. But with that stone key, we're, we're kind of done with that first floor. We're just going to make our way back up the steps here. Come over here. Hit this little switch right here. Make our way this way. And then back over here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get out of my face, fool. Get out of my face. You want some of this? Get out of here. What you want? What you want? Ah! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I think those enemies are cool looking. They're funny looking, though. <laughs> They're a little different. But now what we want to do is actually... Oh, we can actually kill those things now, I believe. Look, what you want? The boomerang's just so good. But we want to make our way over to this little door and walk right through it. And we got these tile things again. Smoke that guy. We'll get a fairy. Do we need a bottle of fairy? Yeah, we're going to actually catch this fairy real quick while these tiles are all coming after us. But we, what we want to do is actually destroy all the tiles. So easiest way to do that is actually just get in a corner and just shield. 
It's pretty simple. Look at that diagonal shield. It's easy. You can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show for a little bit until we gotta get back into this dungeon. But yeah, these tiles don't got nothing on the new mirror shield. This new mirror shield whoops, baby. What you want? What you want? But with all that done, it'll actually open up that door and we're gonna switch back to that boomerang because it's just such a handy weapon in this dungeon. Let's get it. Make sure you don't fall down there. We can actually make our way this way. Push this thing down the hole. Hop this way. And we gotta go retrieve that ball once again. So in order to in order to do that, we have to, we actually have to make our way all the way back this way. What you want, fool? What you want? And grab this ball from here. I'm actually going to hit this switch also, I believe. Let's hit that switch. Make our way back this way. Keep going. What you fools want? Throw that ball. Oh, my God. We hooked that thing a mile. <laughs> it's like a big metal ball. And Link has that powerful bracelet, and he can just rip up and stuff. Like, he throws this thing a mile long. <laughs> what we want to do is actually put this ball down for right now. Should we just, we'll just throw it right here at this wall. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. We gotta go back around, I guess. So we gotta go back around? Yeah, we're gonna leave this ball here. We gotta go all the way... No, get over here. Or can we just push it this way? No, we gotta go back around. Ow! <laughs> we gotta go back around. Leaving this ball here once again. That's terrible. That is terrible. I might just... Should I just fall down a floor? Or what's the easiest way around? Hmm. I cannot make it through that way, so... I think we're just gonna fall right here. I think, yeah, we're just gonna fall right here and make our way all the way back around to get that ball. Because if we fall right here, it's just gonna lead us out over here. Hey! What are you doing, fool? What you want? It's just gonna lead us back here. We can actually make our way up this little section right here, back up to the second floor. It stinks because that platform resets. Now we gotta make our way all the way back, which is just... It's pretty annoying, to be honest. To be honest, it's pretty annoying. And I forgot to hit the switch once again. What you want, switch? Bang. You hey, baby. Get out of here. Let's do a nice little Pegasus boot run. Make our way all the way over here. Hopping over these fools. Get out of here. Yee. Oh, we took a little damage, but it's all good. Just make sure you don't fall in those holes because that will kind of set you back just a little bit. It's kind of annoying. But luckily, we don't have to do the tiles, I think, again. I think the door will just be open now, which is awesome. So we can just keep making our way this way. And there's that ball now that we need. We're going to push this open. Hop over here. Hopefully, we don't fall through. And throw this ball back here. <laughs> Bro, did we really just fall down there? <laughs> now that we finally made it back to that room that we fell in the hole of, like, what was the chance of that? We're gonna pull out our bomb section, drop a bomb here, then lift up this thing, throw this at this pillar so we don't need to really worry about it anymore, and blow up that wall at the same time. Then we're gonna push this thing, we're gonna switch back to the boomerang because the boomerang just comes in handy all this time. We're gonna throw this ball that way, hop over here with Rock's Feather, and start bringing this ball back this way, push this out of our way, say, get out my face. Then we're gonna throw this over there, yeet over there. Get out of my face. What you want, Chew? What you want, fool? We're gonna make our way down this way and actually throw this back over this little hole. This time, that is what we wanna do. Because last time we threw it over, we're like, what are we supposed to do now? But now we gotta throw it over and actually hit that switch once again in order to make our way back this way. And now, which way do we wanna go? We actually wanna fall down here and then start making our way back this way. Was it this way? Was it this way? I believe it was. We want to actually head. All the way back around here and back to the that other floor which would be this way actually i believe we want to make our way all the way back here we can left here and come down here and then go through that door right yeah this door right here will actually lead us up towards where we drop that ball off at get out of here what you want fool what you want get out of my face we're gonna make our way back over here so give me all this stuff and go grab that ball where we threw it over at, because we want to throw it back over somewhere else now, which is pretty funny. Hey! Yo, Chu, get out of here trying to come after me. We're going to want to walk over here, come over to this bridge, and throw it over to that other side right here. And then start making our way back to that room once again. Like, yeah, this dungeon is pretty confusing, guys. Like, you're, you'll probably end up getting lost a couple times here. It's pretty crazy. Like, there's a lot of, like, backtracking going forward. And coming back again, like, this room we've been in, like, five times already. But now we want to go down this wall that we broke. Pull back out our bombs because there's another wall that we can break. And there's that last pillar that we got to take out in order to lower the level in order to get to another section of the dungeon. Well, here we go. We can actually pull out our hook shot now. Go over to this chest. What we got inside? This is the best reward ever, I believe. What is it? Yes. One bomb. One bomb. Just exactly what we needed to replenish our bombs. <laughs> We're going to pull back out our boomerang here. Grab this little metal ball. We're going to give it a nice little hook there. Like, you, baby. Take it out. That last pillar right there, and we got this little cutscene going on. Look at the Eagle Tower. It's going down in flames. Look at it. It's done. We did it. Now, <laughs> it just knocks down a level or two, making it easier for us to go up to the top where the boss fight will be at. But we still have a, a nice little small key that we can use in a little bit. But before we even use that, we're just going to head back down here and just jump in this little hole. 
just make things easier. We're gonna fall down here and start making our way back to the next floor. But let me check this map real quick. Did we get everything? Yeah, we did. First two floors done, baby. Let's go. Let's keep going. Oh, we got these fools right here trying to get on me. But now we just want to actually can I boomerang this thing. And look, it dropped they, these drop fairies all the time. So it's so nice. We're never really gonna run out of hearts now. That's why I said we might as well just go to the defense buff. <laughs> But we're gonna actually make our way over this way. We actually want to hit this switch real quick in order to open this up just a little bit. Just a little bit. What you want, fool? Get out of my face. What you want? But we're actually gonna make our way up here and into this little stairwell. Now that we made it up here, we're actually just gonna go keep on going along with this path, making our way up here. And then to the left over here, we got these Goompas. Actually, we want to head to the right. Forgot this is the door we want to head over to right in here because look at this. We got ourselves the like mini boss fight for dungeon. That big Cyclops didn't really count. Hey, run. You think you could take me? All right, boys, get this puck out my face. All right, so this guy plays his magical little flute and he's going to send enemies towards us. So we, we got to kill all the enemies in one shot. And of course, we missed them. But you guys will see in just a second. Since we missed some, he's just going to keep playing. Watch, he will even say it. Ha, you're going to have to do better than that. If you leave even one alive, I can keep bringing more buddies to help. Here goes short Here goes short stuff. <laughs> That's what he says. If we leave one enemy, they will actually all come back here. So we're going to have to slap on these fools. No! Dang it! <laughs> so some of them are flying differently, so we got to know when to jump and hit. All right, let's try to take out this guy early. Take out him. Come on, what you fools want? See, that guy just flies up there and dodges us, which is pretty crazy. See, we would have had them all, but we missed one. What you want? We're going to come after this fool first. I think this guy's a jumper. Hey, right, come here. Dang it! <laughs> what you guys want? What you want? Yeah, this thing's kind of annoying because it's tough to tell who's floating and who's not. Like, who's flying higher than everyone else. Because they're bugs and it's in, like, a 2D thing. What you want? Come on. Last one. Yes, let's go. We got them all. Let's get it. You lousy so-and-so. Those creeps were some of my best friends. You'll pay. I'll never forget you. <laughs> That's so funny. Those bugs were my best friends. But now we actually want to make our way over here. And actually push these little two pillars right here together. Yo, what you want? Get out of my face. Give me this fairy. We'll replenish. Get over here, fairy. Look, we can actually catch the fairy with the boomerang, which is pretty funny. But we're actually going to push both those little pillars together. Unlocking ourselves this next little chest, which is just awesome. After solving that puzzle, a chest will now drop. And we're actually going to hit this switch. And this is the last chest that we need. There's one more chest on the map. But once again, it is Tracy's medicine. And we cannot grab it considering we already have it. Wait, let me check if we do have it in our inventory. We do. Let's hop over this fool real quick. Oh, ooh, I checked real quick and hopped over that fool. But there we go. We picked up the nightmare key. Now we can actually go off and finish up this dungeon. So if we make our way all the way over towards this way, we can actually open up the boss key door. But... The thing that I like about this dungeon is you open up the boss key door and you're still not done. Like, you have to keep going, which is pretty funny. Bro, we grabbed a piece of power with all this. Can we actually make it to the boss and whoop on him real quick? That'd be so funny. But we're actually going to have to hook shot all the way over here. Start making our way down here and up towards the last floor, which where this is where we will be fighting off the boss with. But look at this. We still got our piece of power on whooping. Bah! I'm not going to hold back. I'm gonna make you wish you were never born. Uh-oh. What are we gonna do? We're gonna whoop on him. He summons this eagle, man. Look at this thing. This thing's such a cool looking thing. And this is the evil eagle, guys. Let's go. Our next boss fight right here. I can't believe we still have our piece of power cooking right here. But he actually hops on the eagle. And we actually have to get going attacking him. Get out of here. What you want, fool? We are whooping on him. We have so much damage right now. But he is actually gonna do like his little... uh move right here where he pushes wind back so if we just pegasus boot run we can actually be fine with it get out of here oh we missed our shot what you want come here buddy what you want fool come here is he gonna do it again oh what you want what you want fool oh whooped whooped look how quick that was my energy gone i lost but you will be lost too if the wind fish wakes same as me you are in his dreams and then he goes off look how quick we tore him up Oh my god, we had the red tunic, which double damage, the colon sword, which is bigger damage, and a piece of power, which is double damage. Like, come on. Oh my god, we murked on the boss right there. You got a heart container. Your maximum heart number is increased. We got another heart container, which is awesome. We are up to 16 hearts. We need four more to complete it. And we can actually start making our way back down this little dungeon. Well, the top floor. And she's making our way down here, because this door will open up, leading us to the instrument for the dungeon. Woo! Let's go. We got the organ of evening calm. Let's go. Let's hear what you got, Link. What kind of tunes you gonna be playing for us today? 
Let's see it, let's see it. Yeah! Yeah, boy, get it, like. <laughs> and guys, dude, we are crushing it. Finishing up this play th through very soon. I think we're like five or six seashells away. Four more heart containers left. Oh my god, guys, we are just crushing it. Ocarina is telling us where, where we gotta go next. It says the Ocarina. It says the music of the Ocarina leads. Woo! Woo, I'm so excited to keep moving along with this game. We're getting done it. Let's go, baby. There we go. We now made our way out of the Eagle Tower. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be following the Ocarina, which is going to lead us to our next mission. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.